Hello, I'm Josie Pegg from the South African Institute for Aquatic Biodiversity and I'd like to tell you about Eastern Cape eels. Eels may appear snake-like but they are in fact fishes. Globally there are 19 species of anguillid eels. There are five in southern Africa and there are just two in the Eastern Cape, the longfin eel and the giant mottled eel. Eels perform a very important role in our Eastern Cape rivers as they're the only native predatory freshwater fish. Predators are important because at the top of the food chain they help control numbers of other animals within the rivers and help maintain a balance and keep it healthy. Globally eels are a very important resource and are consumed in many countries around the world. The image you can see is jellied eels, which is a traditional food from East London. That's East London in the UK, not East London in the Eastern Cape. Unfortunately, due to overexploitation, in many parts of the world, other eel species are actually in decline or have become endangered. Eels have a fascinating life cycle. These are pictures of very young eels which as you can see, look barely eel-like. The reason they look like this, eels are born at sea, somewhere to the northeast of Madagascar, and then they travel in the current back to the Eastern Cape. They'll enter the rivers where they'll spend the next approximately 20 years before as adult mature eels returning back across the ocean to spawn again and continue the population. We've been studying eels in the Eastern Cape. This is how we catch them. This net is called an alva trap. These are the sizes of the eels that we found. Our largest eel was a mottled eel of around 1.3 meters long and weighing a whopping six kilos. The oldest eel we found was a longfin eel that was 25 years old. We were interested in the difference in eel biology between dams and rivers. We found that in dams eels were faster and larger growing and we also found that there were more female eels in dams. The reason that the eels in dams may be larger and faster growing is probably because there's more food for them to eat. More food makes you grow bigger. There's also the potential that there's less pressure from predators of eels, such as otters, when they're within a deep dam. A final reason they might grow faster in dams is because within the dams, they don't have to swim against currents as they do in rivers, so they can save energy and put that energy into just growing bigger. We also found that there were more female eels in dams. Let me explain why we think that is. Small eels are excellent at climbing. This image shows Japanese eels, but our Eastern Cape species are just as good. They can cl climb over almost vertical surfaces, such as dam walls when they're small. But as they grow bigger, they become less capable of climbing, so they get trapped. As female eels grow faster than male eels, and attain a larger overall size, it may be that the females are more prone to getting trapped than the males. So why does this matter? Well, our dams are hugely important to people in the Eastern Cape for irrigation or for the supply of water for industry in our households. However, we need to recognize that these dams can harm native wildlife, such as migratory species like the eels. When we're planning how to manage rivers, we need to take into account all the users, both eels and people. We also need to know about eels because they are a very valuable food resource. In the Eastern Cape, we're always looking at ways to make best use of our natural resources. Eels could be one of those resources we exploit but we need to exploit them in a sustainable way so that enough eels su survive to reproduce to maintain healthy populations. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about eels today. 
I'm Josie Pegg from the South African Institute of Aquatic Biodiversity and I could be reached by email or you can see more on my Twitter. If you want to know more about African eels, a former SIAB colleague, Dr. Celine Hansen, is our African eel expert. And she runs two very good eel-focused Twitter accounts. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. Goodbye.